we're interested in the length of a b right so let's go ahead and look at uh, the coordinates of a so a is right here right? Uh, from here uh, this point here to this point is one right so halfway through should be 0 0.5 right so it's easy to see that uh, the coordinates of a uh, we have an x value of zero and a y coordinate of a half and then let's go to b so for b it's halfway through zero and minus one right so again the x value is zero and the y value is minus a half in this case right and we want the length of a b so from minus a half to a half should be one unit so the length of a b is equal to one unit right you can also use the distance formula to find the length of a b right that is 7.1 let's move to 7.2 so in 7.2 the question is saying that let's write down the range of 3 f of x plus 2 right so our f of x is equal to a half cos of x so let's start from the basics right so cos of x the range of cos of x is minus 1 2 1 right and then now let's come to the range of half cos of x so when you want to find the range of half cos of x multiply minus 1 by a half and multiply 1 by a half right so if we do that we're gonna get uh, minus a half and then a half in our case we have 3 f of x plus 2 so if we substitute f of x there we're gonna get uh, 3 a half cos of x plus 2 so this is just 3 divided by 2 cos of x plus 2 right so on the range of cos of x we just multiply those numbers by 3 divided by 2 and add in 2 right so what is uh, minus 1 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 plus 2 right that will give you a half what is 1 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 plus 2 uh, that will give you 7 divided by 2 so that is the range in 7.2 right and then uh, 7.3 7.3 the question is saying that let's read off from the graphs uh, a value of x for which g of x minus f of x is equal to square root of 3 divided by 2 so square root of 3 divided by 2 is 0 0.8 something right uh, so we are interested in the points that are somewhere here so let me show you something uh, we have 90 here and we have 150 here right so one between 90 and 150 is supposed to be our answer because that's when uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 lines right at 90 we have the square root of 3 divided by 2 from g of x right and then f of x is equals to 0 right uh, so it's easy to see that uh, when x is equals to 90 degrees g of x minus f of x is equals to the square root of 3 divided by 2 and now let's look at 150 at 150 uh, f of x is not 0 right so uh, if you say g of x minus f of x at x is equal to 150 degrees you're gonna get a value that is greater than a uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 and that's not what you're interested in right so the answer for 7.3 uh, is x is equal to 90 degrees another thing you can do here because we say that uh, we need uh, g of x minus f of x to be equal to the square root of 3 divided by 2 this kind of questions you should never get them wrong in the exam because even if you cannot read off from the graph directly you can put values of x until you get square root of 3 divided by 2 and then that way you will be 100 percent sure that indeed at x is equal to 90 um the answer 
but the difference between the two graphs is square root of 3 divided by 2. I think that is actually the best way of doing it, by the way. Uh, anyway, uh, 7.4.1. So the question for 7.4.1 is saying that for which values of x in the interval uh, minus 90 to 240 will f of x multiplied by g of x be greater than zero so for f of x multiplied by g of x to be greater than zero we need all of them to be negative or or all of them to be positive right minus multiplied by minus is positive and then positive multiplied by positive is positive so let's look for those values in our graph so let's just erase everything and do some analysis and see where we end up so uh, it's easy to see that from 30 degrees to to what uh, to 90 degrees they are all positive right so we are interested in this part and then let's look for where they are all negative from 210 210 degrees to 240 they are all negative right so the product of the two will be positive that is the part of the domain uh, we are interested in right so to write it formally we would say that um, x is between uh, 30 degrees and 90 degrees yeah when x is between 30 and 90 they are all positive so the product will be consequently positive right or when uh, x is between 210 and it can also touch 240 by the way because at 240 they are still all negative right so we're supposed to have an equals to here right yeah so those are the uh, two parts of the domain that we're interested in f of x multiplied by g of x will be positive all right and then uh 7.4.2 7.4.2 is saying uh, for which values of x will g prime of uh, x minus 5 degrees be greater than 0 so you need to know what a derivative is right uh, if you derivate in a function you get in the gradient for that function right so we're looking for the values of x for which uh, g of x minus 5 would be positive right but we have g of x we don't have g of x minus 5 right so let's stick to g of x first let's look for values for which uh, the gradient of g of x is positive you can see here that uh, from this point right our graph starts sloping up to this point we have a positive gradient so from minus 60 to 120 we have a positive gradient right so from uh, minus 60 to 120 we have a positive gradient that's for g of x right we are interested in g of x minus 5 uh, since we have x minus 5 our graph is moving to the right right so our answer would be minus 60 plus 5 uh, 120 plus 5 our final answer being minus 55 and 125 so this is uh, the answer we are looking for